hi everyone on YouTube it has been like two years since I have been on but I have returned I think I want to return um, not for reaction videos anymore but for maybe other things um, but before we get into the story time I just want to let you know my apartment has thin walls thin windows so you're going to be hearing some cars outside it's Sunday it's a holiday in the United States Father's Day and people are celebrating also a holiday that's t tomorrow called Juneteenth uh, look that up when you get a chance the story time is this is called the last rock stars story time and this is a super band or group whatever you want to call it a super rock band from Japan consists of Yoshiki from X Japan and he and that's a legendary Japanese rock band um, and he's legendary. He's the founder. Uh, Sigizo from Lunacy and X Japan and Shag and everything. He does a lot. And then we have Hyde. Uh, he's from the Arkansia or Lariku in Japanese. And then Miyavi, solo artist. Um, everyone's legendary, but I think the most legendary is. Wow, beeping. The most legendaries of this, of the four people lineup, I'm gonna say Yoshiki and Sugizo, because they've been around since the 80s. Or they've been around since the beginning of Visual K. My story time is to tell you about my experience. So let's get into it, because oh my god, very unforgettable concert, unforgettable night, and I had some moments that I couldn't have imagined of having that night February 4th yeah I think I went to the 4th 3rd one of those dates <laughs> the last um, one okay in New York City all right so in November while I was working I found out it was announced oh the last rock stars and I'm looking at the lineup I'm freaking out I always I'm a huge Luna C fan so the fact that I'm like, wow, Sigizo's in the lineup. But also, I love Hyde as well from La Arc and Ciel. But I think, oh, well, Sigizo is number one on the list because, you know, or I just really want to see Lunacy in concert. And then, um, so I'm freaking out. The tickets are, are about to go and sell in a week. And they announced this super group last minute. I'm freaking out. I text all, I message all my friends who love these artists and I'm like they're coming to LA they're coming in New York we are two hours away from New York we live like uh, two states over PA but you know it's easy to get to New York from Pennsylvania just two hours so anyway I'm like oh my god oh my god and I'm thinking Ticketmaster or Scam Master I really don't like them um, Live Nation slash Ticketmaster, I'm thinking these prices are going to be ridiculous. And I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if the prices are expensive because these are respectable, legendary rock stars, like artists. They've like, been in the game for years. I, you know what? I wouldn't be surprised. Come to find out, those tickets that I got under a hundred dollars, and it's mostly, it's not seating. The venue in New York is the Ma uh, Manhattan Ballroom, and it's GA. It's um, general standing um, get as close to the stage as you can I'm freaking out because you know when it comes to artists that I really 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 love I am there to to wait in line for nine to ten hours like I'm there we buy the tickets me and I tell my friends who could get the ticket like let's get on it let's get on I get the ticket I'm like oh shoot like, I'm going to see Sukizo in the flesh, Yoshiki in the flesh, Hyde, uh, Miyavi. I'm not a huge fan of Miyavi, but I'm like, I respect him. And this is going to be a most amazing concert. Oh, my goodness. Um, so I'm already thinking about, like, do I do a fan sign? What do I want to do? So I decided to make a Uchiwa with Sugizo's face and name. So I start to prepare, prep in my mind for that. Um, because I'm like, no way, Jose, me and my friends, we're going to be right at the gate. We're going to be at front, right there in front of the stage, you know, where the barrier is. We're not playing games. So we're getting prepared. Um, 
the three friends that are coming with me from Pennsylvania, my my best friend, part of the trio, my best friend since uh, high school, and um, we've been jamming out to J-Rock for years. So this this was epic. Coworker friend from work, and then the last one is um, I became uh, friends with at Otakon uh, last year. So like. Uh, I uh, guess a uh, Otakon buddy <laughs> and then I had my other friends in New York City that was like we're gonna be there too we'll hold if we get in line first we'll hold your spot and I'm like we're set we're set we're gonna get to this line early so the day of the concert so my plan was because I have to see these legendary artists cloaks especially Sugizo we're catching the 4 a.m. bus and we're getting to New York by like 6, 7-ish. And we're going, by car, and we're going to get into that line. Six degrees. Early February is freezing, but the next day it was going to be 60-something. What in the world is bipolar weather? Six degrees freezing. But you know, in the morning it's probably negative something, so... Oh, it was freezing, but we bundled. So the plan was, you know, you layer, you layer, because if you're going to wait in line for a concert in the middle of winter, you've got to layer, layer up, and then slowly peel the layers off, hand it to a friend, they go back to the hotel, come back before the doors open, so you can not overheat during the concert. So it was a whole plan, you know, you pack snacks, you pack hydration, um, while you wait in line for the whole day, um, friends go in and out, hold spots, get use the bathroom at the train station, which was down conveniently down the street. So I was like, yes. Uh, food breaks, everyone in and out, and a lot of people in the line was doing that. There was, when we got to New York City at 7 something a.m., we got there, I'm thinking, oh shoot, are we too late, right? The line was still a baby line. It barely begun, so I was like, yes. But there was someone in the front in a sleeping bag. That person slept overnight, y'all. And mind you, in the morning, it was like, what, four degrees? You know at night it was like negative something. The dedication. Then we had people, we were, you know how you make friends in a line? You had people from like Europe, people from Japan. People that are people that went to the previous show because they did two shows in New York because um, they added one because, you know, the one I went to on Saturday, uh, Saturday was sold out. But um, just it was a lot of hardcore fans. And so anyway, since during that time, Hyde's birthday passed. So this is this is where I'm going to talk about like all the gifts and the hypeness we were on. So me and my friends decided, like, Hi's birthday just passed a few days ago. We went to the train station. We bought birthday cards. We are like, let everyone in the line sign the birthday card. Happy birthday, Hyde. We got a bouquet of flowers. And I was saying, like, maybe each of us can have some flowers and throw it on the stage and give it to our faves, whatever. Because I was like, we're, we're definitely going to be up front. And then um, my, my friend, my New York friend, um, they love band made, so she was getting presents, uh, she was getting uh, Miyavi or Yoshiki, they were getting stuff, little gifts so they can hand it to the artist. And uh, my other friend, he got like this nice book, so everyone in line um, to see the show can sign write messages, so um, we can hand this beautiful guest book to the entire band of the, the last rock stars band so everyone and a lot of people online have flowers they have plushies like we you know who wants to just give our appreciation and i was like i know like at the last minute it was like i went it was like a few hours before doors opened uh, I went with my friend to the pharmacy and it was like still almost it's almost Valentine's Day and there was like there's real flowers and there, there was this felt 
created felt is a type of paper um mesh felt a uh, bouquet of roses so it was a replica of bouquet of roses and i was like this is and it was in shape of a heart and i said this was a good idea to give to an artist so they're able to put it like take it with them on the plane or like keep it for keepsake because you know real flowers are going to die and you know you can't really take real stuff on the plane like traveling is like security measures you can't really go out the country with probably flowers like real flowers so i got this heart-shaped bouquet replica of a dozen roses but it was like well crafted it's very artsy and i in my head i was like i want this to go to sigizo like i love him i love lunacy i respect him i've been a fan of him since since oh three since for years I want to show my appreciation. I want to give this to him. We all got our stuff. We got our gift bags. We got our birthday cards ready. Our blue presents. Because we want our moment. And we, um, the doors open. Security check, security check. Um, my heart's beeping. I'm like, I, we got to get to, like, it's no way. We traveled from out of state. We waited in this line, freezing sort of freezing we were comfortable i was not I, it was my fingers i was like no not my hands because we had heat packs it was mostly my toes because i think the um i didn't wear good shoes that circulated warmth well and um so everything else i was comfortable because i was layered up but you know um so the doors open and me and my friends we had the hostel hotel we already kind of dropped things off and like um unlayered up while we had our my new york friends were holding our spot yes we got i got my i got my uchi wop sugis on his face with my flower my bouquet heart flower and we got the birthday cards ready and we got the real flowers to give it to whoever all right so right there we are right at the gate Dude, like the barricade I was like oh my this is so worth it this is so worth it concert is amazing it starts biggity biggity bang bang the last rock starts boom fireworks everyone's screaming I'm screaming cuz I'm like this is already legendary the first song already started their intro was epic it was like weird for me first it was like surreal a surreal feeling washed over because you know how you spend like, I'm 35 years old. I've been watching these, listening to these artists, these singers on stage, since I was in high school. That's like almost 20 years ago. That's 20 years ago. And it's just like, I've been listening to you for like 20 something years. I've seen you in movies like Hyde, Moonchild Hyde. I'm like, he's here. He's in front of me. Yoshiki, legendary. I know he does like he did concerts, and hide, hide too. They did like hide with vamps. He'll come over, or Yoshiki would come over with extra pan. But it was like I just I never got a chance to see them. So, um, and Miyavi always comes over to United States. But but it was like Sagizo is like I, cause Luna C doesn't come over. Luna C does not come to the United States. Darn it. Please, they only came once to Hollywood, I think 2010, but they need a, I need a Lunacy special tour, come to New York and some few cities in the United States, because do they really know, they got a fan base, they have an international fan base, there's American fans, anyway, but Sugizo, oh my god, Sugizo, I just... I was screaming and then I was just like in awe because a lot of time in concert you're like I don't I'm not going to scream the whole time I want to hear the lyrics I want to enjoy the music I want I was very moved concerts happening I'm a surreal feeling washes over I'm like oh my god oh my goodness I was like he's real and my friend is like this my close friend is like because oh, she was kind of slightly behind me I wanted her next to me why wasn't she next to me so we can share looks but anyway I'm holding, I'm clutching, I'm, I'm waving my Ushua, and here is the story of the moments. Now, for moments, you know how you have a moment with a celebrity or your idol, and it just burns in your brain for the rest of your life? So this stuff is about to happen. 
So we're like unsure. I'm looking over at Baha'i. I'm like, Are, when do we throw stuff or give out the presents? Like, I'm unsure. Like, I don't want security to kick us out because usually in Japan, you can't throw gifts on the stage. But we're in our own country right now. So can we do it? And we know last night, the previous night, some girl threw a bra at Hyde. Like, can we get some gifts like plushies or flowers? Let's go. Yochiki is in a talking, so there's a point in the concert where, you know, there's talking parts. Yoshiki, Yoshiki is talking about something compelling, some, like, positive message, whatever. Going into a deep conversation, we're all looking. My Uchiwa is still, like, I'm holding it up. Well, it's like I'm leaning on the gate. And out the corner of my eye, I see, like, I'm... Sagizo scan like he looks over and he finally I think it's an hour into the concert he noticed my Uchiwa with his face and his name and he squints he's like oh like what I just did and I look over and I'm like <laughs> I was like oh shoot we're making I I mean I He's looking at my, oh my god, he finally, I was like, oh, that he just noticed, but it was an hour in, but I'm like, yeah, because you know, you're in the zone, you're not going to notice it in the first few songs, but I'm like, during that interlude break, he got a chance. He looks, I'm waving, he points, he gives, he's like, I, you know, the, the, you know, complimenting on my Uchiwa, and I'm just like this, and whatever, and, um, <laughs> I'm still, I, while I'm recalling that moment, so that was like, uh, while everyone's in the Yoshiki, I got my, uh, little, oh, he recognized my Uchiwa moment, we're making eye contact, he's telling me good job, good work, he's impressed, he didn't even have to say the words, it was all in his facial expressions, body language, and he's pointing at me, and I was like, oh my god, that was moment number one, I was like, okay, he's on my Uchiwa, but I'm still holding, you know, the rose bouquet in shape of a heart, the, the, you know, the crafted one, not real, the crafted one. I'm still holding it. It's like, hmm, okay, I gotta get this. I'm definitely in the front, 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 front. I gotta get this to him. So concert goes on. I'm jumping. I'm sweating. Uh, by the way, me and my friend, uh, we made some friends in the audience. So we we're talking to them. We're like, oh, I'm I'm mostly on the side. We're on the side with I'm we're we're on Sugizo's side of the stage. So it's like a lot of people are like Sugizo, lunacy and Sugizo fans. So it's great to be on that side. Okay. So anyway, concert goes on. Then I think it's another talking point where they come back. Like they go up backstage and they're coming. Everyone comes back on the stage one by one. So this is during the concert again. And I notice that Miyavi is getting bouquet of flowers. I was like, and then someone threw a plushie or something to hide, whatever. I'm like, oh shoot, this is my chance. This is my chance. Where's Sugizo? Where's Sugizo? Sugizo eloquent, eloquently comes back on his stage from behind the scenes. Um, drinks water, whatever. I see him walking. He sits down. I'm like, this is the moment. So I went like this. So pretend this is the flower or the rose thing. And I go like this. <laughs> I just re I'm having a flashback while I'm talking about this. I go like this, and he sees. And I sorry, I made. I'm sorry, I made him get back up again. Cause he sat down like he was like this sits down crosses his legs he sees me go like this and then he stood up oh my god i was like ah i was about to get it oh my god okay just having a flashback jesus jesus okay he gets back he gets up he walks <laughs> walks over and i'm going like this because i'm like i'm about to get ready to toss i'm like I go, <laughs> and the thing falls like it hits the edge of the stage, and it boom. And then the camera person or somebody grabbed it for me and gave it to Sikisa. And I'm watching this, and it's like, dude, guys, y'all don't understand. I'm sweating. I need a fan, guys. You guys don't understand. Okay, so. 
the camera person, Kim Sigizo, my president, and he, okay, ah, he looks at me, he blows kisses, gives a heart, thank you, acknowledges me profusely, it's great. like, not profusely, but you know, you know, the, the singer acknowledges you, gives you a kiss, I'm like this, I'm like, yay, and then I was like, okay, do I blow a kiss, I don't know, I'm like this to him back to because he did it to me and he looked very appreciative grateful and he sat it down next to him and I was like because I don't think no one got that on camera I don't think my friends got that on their phones weren't out I just pulled out my camera to take a picture of my present next to him oh my goodness it was like it was like God said, Ashley, you're going to have some moments with someone you idolize for a million years. By the way, he hearing him, his violin playing live was so surreal, so magical, so like I felt like I was in another universe. Like everything felt beautiful and amazing they put on one of the greatest shows I have ever seen in my life um, I've been to plenty of concerts but this is like top two I won't tell you who's number one but I think yeah the fact that was moment number two with Sigiza moment number two there is a third moment that got even more crazy. <laughs> I was just happy. I was done. I was like, if there's no other moment with Sigizo one on one, I'm fine. I'm fine for the rest of my life. He already acknowledged this. He already said, uh, yeah, he's impressed. He's impressed with that. He gave me the thumbs up and everything, right? And then he appreciated. He was like loving the gift, the bouquet, fake heart thing. So it's like encore, the show is over, everybody's doing, you know, the stage bow, jumping with band made, saying thank you, everyone's walking around getting more gifts. Um, also, there was moments before, wait, I forgot some other moments, okay, after I gave the present. Um, we did give Hyde the birthday cards. Um, when he, Hyde came, Hyde finally stepped down from the center stage and me and my friends were like, ah! And so we did give him the cards, he grabbed them, he smiled a little quickly, and we said, Happy birthday! Okay, we were such dorks. Okay, and then, do I, remember how I told you we got real bouquet of flowers? Um, my friend behind me, slightly behind me, she was next to me, waved it, and Yoshi came, and team we team worked, gave it to him, because she was waving it, and I grabbed it for her to give it to Yoshiki. And he banged, he used that bouquet of flowers, if you find a fan video, to bang the cymbals. He destroyed the flowers on his drums. We are very honored because Yoshiki is the godfather of J-Rock. I've said it on Twitter and I didn't know that people were like, oh my god, to that tweet. And he retweeted that and apparently that's a big deal. I didn't know that was a big deal because I'm not a Twitter human. But anyway. We were like, we're very honored for a legend to destroy our flowers. Thank you. They were all great. But back to the Sigizo moments, because I, I, you know, I love him. Okay, let me put this back. Hold on. Let me get some cool. The next moment, the last moment. They're all saying their goodbyes. Bowing. Thank you. Thank you. Come on stage. You know, uh, Yoshiki did a little crowd service. Serving. Surfing. <laughs> Yoshiki did some crowd surfing a little bit. But then Sigizo jumps down. And he, I, everyone's reaching out their hands right. We're like, ah, touch me, touch me. You already know, you already know. We're like, ah. And he grabs, this is not a lie. This is no joke because this is burnt in my brain. Cause I'm like, OMG, this man is gripping my hand. He grips my hand like that to, so he can gain leverage to stand on the black a barrier and he used his other hand to 
touch all the fans like yay whatever but the fact that he's gripping onto my hand to like and he had it for like a whole two like a whole minute a whole minute so I'm like this and there is a professional photo where you can see my hand um, because I, did, I forgot there was like camera people also during the whole concert because I had the Uchiwa and I guess I was noticeable um, the girl next to me another Sugizo fan and she's really nice she's like the camera's on you look look and she was like they had and my one friend um my other friend she was like they had that camera on you like all the time like we saw you on the screen like they're, they they filmed everybody, but they kept going, and they kept going back to me. And I said, I was not like I was looking at the the individual humans, these legends. I'm not really looking at the screen, and my eyes were on Segizo a lot, so I wasn't noticing. Like I wasn't noticing in front, like camera people. Like no, I why would I notice? But thank you for noticing. Okay, so anyway. Holding okay, he's the only guy around, and then he's touching everyone. My friend had uh, who was slightly behind me, she uh, also had a, a nice long grip on his hand because he was about to fall backwards. And she got, uh, she got that, and she's freaking out, so she had a little moment with Sigizo. But I was like, that was moment number three for me, and this is crazy because he trusted me with. <laughs> He trusted my arm and hand, because I was like this, you can see it in the photo, of being steadied on the... I'm not going to post that photo because I don't know, copyright, you know. Can I post that photo? There is a professional photograph where you see a brown arm. Never in a million years. I... That concert was worth the wait worth the wait in the freezing cold hmm um i had some favorite songs from there the, um performances i know yoshiki was very touched i think he is the one that created there they did have a previous super band in um and the lead singer was Gat, Gato, Gakudo. He has a lot of ways to say his name. What was it called? Skin? Back in like 08, 07, and that, that fell through. And I'm hoping that the last rock stars can do something again. I'm um, still waiting on an album. And uh, <clears throat> they, you can tell that they're professional veterans because of how the concert was this super band and concert was put together in such a short notice I feel like and the fact that they pulled it off and it felt like it felt like it was long like planned for a long time it's just they're very they're gifted they're talented Hyde's vocals sounded amazing live all the instruments, Miyavi sounded great with his bass. Sigizo sounded great on the the rhythm guitar, I think, right? Rhythm guitar and violin. Oh my goodness, I still got chills. Uh, Yoshiki sounded great on the piano and drums. So Yoshiki was when when it was like his solo set, and he played the classical music. And I just want to, like me thinking about that just makes me want to cry. And I'm like, he's amazingly gifted, talented. Yoshiki is like, he deserves all the praises and the honors he gets. But to, back to your life, <clears throat> and um, and just uh, again, I keep going back to it, but just the, I thought I would not. Sigiza playing the violin. That was that was my th number one priority on that list. I said I need Sugizo to play the violin um, because I always hear it. Like during I have I've, during the Lunacy concert DVDs that I have and watch. Wow, I'm wow. Stop tearing up, human. Okay. 
overall the experience um, of seeing the last rock stars was just magical and unforgettable and that is the end of story time because it's probably running too long <clears throat> i hope i didn't miss out in any other details but just the fact that like, we all had like some moments these moments were awesome and just um i wanted to like thank you arigato to sugizo for giving me my moments um i'm sure he appreciate i already know and last moment, because I only named three moments, but there's a fourth one. You know, at the end of every Lunacy concert or solo Sugizo concert, Sugizo likes to do selfies with himself in it with the audience behind him. That's every concert he does. For years, I always saw those type of photos on Instagram. <clears throat> and then the next day, someone's like, Ashley, you're on Sugizo's Instagram. While wow, still in New York City, we're still in New York. Um, that was one of my New York friends messaged me. I look down. We're in the park. I look on my phone and I'm like, oh my god. What is Instagram? I'm on the, we're all, well not me, just me, but you know, the section of the audience. And <clears throat> my three friends that were with me, I'm like, we're on there, we're on there, we're on there. And to me... That was moment number four was I got to be part of that his collection of selfie shots. Um yeah, I was just like this is again is this real life? Is is this true? Am I dreaming? But the fact of the matter is I had a great experience, great time. I would love to like go back to Japan. I've been to Japan, but for such a short, like when I visited Japan, I was working in Korea. So I didn't have that much time to spend in Japan. I only did like a week. I got to see my cousin. He lives there. He lives in Tokyo. Been there for a thousand years. Years. No concerts was happening or anything. So it's not like. But I wanted to really go back to see Lunacy because I'm just like, when will they, they I don't know if they're ever going to come to the United States. Um, I really want to see Lunacy. And Lunacy has Siggy's or so. Um, but the fact I got to see Legends though, like, you know, wearing the last Rockstar shirt for this story time video. All right, if you have gone to the New York show or L.A. show, um, you can comment and tell me about your experience or, I don't know, how was it? Um, and um, I am happy, reliving moments in my head while I tell you the story. All right, let me stop. Thank you for watching and uh, hopefully, um, I don't know what kind of, I have a second YouTube channel, and it's me on, on um, opening my figurines. It's like a figurine type channel, like anime figures. Um, you can subscribe to that if you want. Um, I'm going to see what I can do about this YouTube channel that I abandoned. But, alright. Bye.